From anatomy to anesthesiology, from pathology to pharmacology, from microbiology to medicine, a one-man resource to the world of health sciences. Welcome to Dr. Paul's Medical Lectures. A practicing physician, Dr. Paul offers you essential insights on diseases afflicting millions of people around the world. For today's lecture, here is Dr. Paul. Okay, good evening folks. This is Dr. Paul. Thank you very much for tuning to our channel today. Uh, this morning I want to talk a few minutes about osteochondritis desiccans. Osteochondritis desiccans is basically a bony disorder. It's a bone disorder that produces joint symptoms because of the intraarticular location of the abnormality. In the x-ray I'm showing you, you can see a very, very classic osteochondritis desiccans affecting the doom of the talus. See the ankle joint, see the calcaneus, see the distal ends of uh, uh, tibia and fibula, see the naviculars, cuneiforms, metatarsals, but see the talus, see the classic doom of the talus. This is a classic x ray showing osteochondritis desiccans. And it is uh, a bone disorder that produces joint symptoms because of the intraarticular location of the abnormality. And uh, you can see the semicircular focus of bone here. And uh, overlying cartilage separated from the articular surface of the uh, talus that you can see underneath it. And there are many uh, theories to say how it, it, it happens, but the etiology is uncertain. And uh, many people say it is due to repetitive microtrauma and vascular insult to the subchondral bone. Uh, but most commonly, this condition, OCD, to say it shortly, OCD, it affects the knee, the distal femur, and the ankle, the doom of the talus, and elbow. In the elbow joint, it affects the capitalum. In the elbow joint, it affects the capitalum. In the knee, it affects the distal femur. And in the ankle, it affects the doom of the talus. These are the three most commonly involved sites. So let us see the most important points here. So the osteochondritis desiccans is a joint condition in which a piece of cartilage along with a thin layer of the bone beneath it comes loose from the end of your bone. And it is caused by the reduced blood flow to the end of a bone and the symptoms are mostly patients come with pain that is triggered by physical activity and sometimes even walking upstairs causes a lot of pain they will have joint locking or popping joint weakness because of that uh, increased size they may have decreased range of motion and also swelling and tenderness and what are the risk factors most often this involves people between the ages of 10 and 20 and males are two to three times more likely to develop osteochondritis desiccans than are females and sports that involve rapid changes in direction like uh, for example anything like running or football basketball they cause a lot of uh, micro trauma over the years and results with an increased risk of osteochondritis desiccans. The complications include basically increased disability because of the pain and decreased range of motion. So when you see these patients, you order an X-ray. X-ray reveals it. Then you can order a CT to see uh, the fine details of it. Then you can do an MRI also because it shows the soft tissue damage that might have happened. And what about the treatment? There is controversy regarding the treatment, but most often you start with conservative treatment. You give rest to the joint, that means you avoid activities that can put uh, more stress on your joint. And you can do physical therapy, giving a range of motion exercises, stretching exercises that to strengthen the muscles of the joints. But when the conservative treatments fail, you need to go for surgery. In the surgery, 
uh, it is uh, I mean it, it can be done a open surgery or arthroscopic surgery but the point is to remove the loose fragments and reattach the fragments to the bone so that's about uh, uh, osteochondritis desiccans remember it's uh, a disease that affects uh, adolescents and most commonly it affects uh, the femur ankle and elbow so those are the important points folks thanks for your patient listening thanks for listening for more medical videos please visit us at www.drpaul.org and take time to browse through hundreds of health videos we regularly post on our site if you are preparing for usmle plab and other medical exams make sure you visit our website to browse through our videos explaining the essential points you need to know before taking these examinations for more information visit us at www.drpaul.org thank you and may God richly bless you.